Here's how to use the new emergency SOS via satellite on iPhone 14s. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. This is Harrison. He is hanging out with me today because uh, he did not want to go lay down. But we have stuff to talk about and that is that Apple has finally launched emergency SOS via satellite for all iPhone 14 models iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, and iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is a free feature for at least the first two years of use, and you can use it right now to get help when you are outside of cellular range or Wi-Fi connectivity. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works because Apple has a handy demo set up inside of the settings app on your iPhone 14. So let's go ahead and test this out. As I mentioned, Apple has a demo version of Emergency SOS via satellite available to users. And you should try this out for yourself because if you are ever in the unfortunate circumstance where you do need to use this feature, at least you'll have an idea of how it works and what the process is like before you are under duress in an emergency situation. To test it out, head into Settings, then Emergency SOS, then Emergency SOS via satellite where you can try a demo. When you try the demo, there'll be a big blue alert at the top of the screen, letting you know this is a demo and not a real use of emergency SOS via satellite, but it'll operate the same way. Because it's a demo and we're invoking via settings, it's different than a real world situation. In real life, you'd basically try to contact emergency services, calling 911 in the case of the US, and when that call fails, there's no cellular connection, there's no uh, Wi-Fi available, a button will appear allowing you to use emergency SOS via satellite. In that case, it's first going to find your position and start orientating you towards the nearest satellite. Be warned that things like trees, buildings, and overhangs can all cause interruptions with that satellite connectivity. Outside is definitely going to be best for getting that reception. Once it does kind of find your position, we'll move on to asking a series of questions so you can tell them what's going on. So I'm, I'm trapped, I'm broken down, I'm injured, something like that. And it'll automatically prompt you with several other questions that are follow-ups. Once this information is all assembled, it'll be sent to that satellite and Apple will compress it down to be very, very small. A message can be sent in as little as 15 seconds compared to traditional satellite communications, which can take upwards of a couple minutes. Once the information is sent to the satellite, dispatchers will know things like your battery level on your phone, your exact location, including altitude, and any information that you've sent over, such as if you are trapped, injured, and even your medical ID if you have it configured in the health app on your iPhone. While you're communicating with the dispatch, you're able to reposition your phone to get into the best angle. So it'll have that little bubble near the top of the screen and you can rotate your phone around until it's facing the correct direction. Once it's facing the correct direction, you'll have the best communication with a satellite and messages will send faster. So that's how emergency SOS via satellite works. It's very easy and streamlined. Basically, you're in a situation, you can't contact emergency services, you answer a few questions, make sure your phone is pointed toward the satellite, and it'll get relayed directly to emergency services, and if emergency service cannot accept text communications, it'll be sent to an Apple dispatch center, which will then relay that information to emergency services on your behalf. I hope none of you have to use this feature, but if you do, it's probably gonna be nice that it's here. Apple still has not announced what the price will be for emergency SOS via satellite once that two year introduction period is over, but it'll likely be bundled into some sort of iCloud or iCloud Plus subscription like Apple's other services. So let me know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a great feature to have in your phone? Do you think it should do more? By the way, you can also use emergency SOS via satellite or at least the satellite communications of that to send your location to friends and family using the Find My app when you go off the grid. Another really helpful feature here. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I have a lot more videos coming your way.